Да! Shit. Do me a favor and stay dead. And I'm full on health. Strong first aid. Hell yes. Man, that guy was a dickhead. Damn, that was a pain in the ass, but all that matters is that I did it. Now I can leave, theoretically.
Because don't expect me to stand here or sit here thinking I'm actually going to be able to get the hell out of this place. No, uh. How many are going to pop out this time? None? Wow. More than a little shocked on that one. So that's one of the why it's gone. Oh, I'm saving it. Is there music playing just now? I didn't even realize there was fucking antlers hanging there. Nah. Alright, so. Put that away. Uh, take this out. Yes. Uh, take that out. Yes. Probably this since I'm able to go outside. So that should be enough, hopefully. We'll see, won't we? Yes, we will. I think that is going to be uh, the footage that I show Mark. Because we have a, a DJ at the club who I call my patchy brother. Because when we worked at our first club together, uh, like every time he would play a song, Tonto, jump on it, jump on it, you know, that. Yeah, that's the one. Like, him and I would uh, just go onto the stage and just do the Apache dance to it, and everyone just loved it. It would absolutely just blow the roof off the place. Everyone loved it when him and I got, used to get on stage and just do our shit. Because he's like, a, he's a smaller Filipino guy, and he can fucking dance. I mean, he's good. He is... Granny? Why are you in the hallway? Can I shoot you? Should I try? Anyone looking? Anyone looking? No windows. Let's give it a shot. Oh, you're not going to let me shoot, Granny. That's bull. Oh, you guys are jerks. You know how badly that decision is going to come back to bite me in the ass later? I know it will. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, it's going to be the episode anyway in just a minute. But yeah, uh, like I said, he's a uh, smaller Filipino guy. And um, like I said, we used to do that all the time. And it was just, well, everyone loved it. It was awesome. Like, if the crowd was dead, I mean, it wasn't really dead. But if it needed some, uh, some little bit of an oomph, a little bit of a pick-me-up, he would just play, oh, wait a second, everybody, and he would just get on the radio, or get on the mic and just set it up, and it's got that little uh, bongo thing, and I don't know how to do it, I can't do it like that, but, you know, him and I would get on the stage, and all of a sudden, I remember the first time we did it, uh, this wasn't planned at all, and uh, I, obviously, Mark, I'm, I'm going to show you this episode, because obviously I'm mentioning you, but um, it was funny, the first time he did it, he goes, I got an idea. Here, come with me. Like, all right, sure, why not? So I'm like, what are we doing? He just goes, get on the stage with me. So we do that. And uh, I didn't even really know the dance, but I knew a little bit of it. So, like, there's two verses to it. So uh, on the first verse, uh, yeah, the, this uh, the first verse, uh, we just went, okay, forwards, backwards, left and right. And then all of a sudden, uh, on the second verse, uh, we did, uh, like, forward, backwards, and uh, he goes, all right, now face to face. So no time to be like judgmental on personal space or anything. It's not really a problem for me if I know you and I like you. There's no personal space issue. But like there was just bam, like we were like literally, our faces were like two inches away from two, like two or three inches away from each other. So it was awesome. And ever since then, when everyone heard those bongo drums, I was like, oh shit, they're gonna do, the, they're gonna go out there and do the Apache. And that's why I call him my Apache brother. And who's he's being very supportive about me doing the YouTube thing now, and that's that's really cool. He's having that guy support; it's awesome. He's a really good guy. I'm gonna honorarily uh, induct him in this just because 
and he wants to see the footage, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and obviously I'm going to let him know that he's now in. What's that mean? Nothing yet, but it will someday. So anyway, I'm done babbling on. I finally kicked Jack's ass. Yes, the fuck I did. I saw that bastard clear into oblivion. I did. So now I'm going to have to worry about that dickhead coming back. So, what's left? Obviously the mother. We got the brother who's wearing a skull cap that got his fucking hand cut off. And all of a sudden, no, not again, of course. Then we got Granny, who I know is going to probably be the worst out of the bunch. Because all she sits there, or all she does is sit there geriatrically, not doing a damn thing. Which ends up in random fucking places throughout this house, so I guarantee she's going to be the biggest pain in my half-Irish arse. So I'm just going to let that happen when it happens. But anyway, until then, everybody, thank you for joining me. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're making some sick progress. Yes, we is. Can't film that much more tonight, so i got to start getting ready for work. But don't worry, everybody, because I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to do a little bit more, and then I'm going to have to go. So, see you guys next time. Until then, you all stay classy.